February 10th meeting of the Park and Planning Commission to order at 7 p.m. Would you please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance? To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh boy, uh, let's see. Absent is Kim. Absent is Eric. Uh, absent is Abbas. Uh, so, yeah. And uh, seated are Roxy and Nick. All right. Um, are there any additions to or deletions from the agenda? I know, sir, there are not. Okay. Uh, approval of minutes. Do we have any additions or corrections to the Planning Commission meeting minutes from January 27th, 2022? No. no. Okay, do we have a motion to approve? I move that we recommend we approve the January 27th uh, Planning Commission meetings minutes. I'll second. Uh, it's been Moved by Rich, seconded by Roxy, that we approve the Planning Commission uh, meeting minutes from January 27th, 2022. And I will call the question. Uh, Roxy? Yay. Uh, Nick? Yay. Uh, Ruthann? Yes. Uh, Rich? Aye. Chair is aye. Passes 5 0. Uh, next item, item 6A, is a Public hearing on the Anthology North section, segment rather, 1B and 1C preliminary plan. Uh, and we will open that public hearing at 7.02. Brianna? Perfect. Give it a second, there we go. <laughs> Good evening, Chairman and Planning Commission. This is a proposal for the preliminary plan for Anthology North. The subject property is located on the south side of Hess Road between Chambers Road and Motzenbacher Road. The applicant PCS group is requesting the approval of a preliminary plan for segment 1B and 1C of the Anthology North development. The sketch plan for all of segment one, including the area being discussed tonight, and the preliminary plan for segment 1A was previously recommended for approval by Planning Commission on July 8th of 2021 and approved by Town Council on August 2nd of 2021. The future sketch and preliminary plans for segment two will accommodate commercial and mixed use development. The item being discussed tonight is the preliminary plan for segment 1B and 1C. This is located in purple and orange on the screen. This includes 860 single family residential lots, 72 townhome residential lots, 106 duplex residential lots, along with 60.5 acres of open space and 9.3 acres of park space. The proposed preliminary plan identifies the layout of the subdivision to meet the standards outlined in the land development ordinance, the Anthology North plan development, and the related roadway and stormwater design criteria manuals. The annexation agreement for the Anthology North development outlines the amount of parks, open space, trails, and school land, require, school land dedication required. For segment 1B and 1C preliminary plan, the applicant is proposing four neighborhood parks for a total of 9.35 acres of park space. Within all of segment one, the park space proposed exceeds the minimum amount of park space required. The applicant is also proposing 60.5 acres of open space, which satisfies the minimum requirement of open space. Trail systems are proposed to provide connectivity throughout the development. The proposed trail will link, link with sidewalks and the trails constructed within the neighborhood subdivision will provide a connection to the Cherry Creek Trail. The proposed preliminary plan for segment 1B and 1C meets the obligations outlined in the approved parks, trails, and open space master plan for the Anthology North development. 
As outlined within the annexation agreement, the developer is required to provide one school site for segment one. For the segment 1B preliminary plan, the applicant is proposing an elementary site of 10.9 acres in size. The Douglas County School District has stated that the proposed site meets the criteria for a school. Segment 1B and 1C of the Anthology North development will be served by Stroh Road and Chambers Road extension shown here in red. These extensions provide connections to the existing infrastructure and the road network as outlined within the town's transportation master plan. A series of new collector roads and extensions of the existing collector roads will be constructed to support the connections throughout the community and between the arterial roads, which are shown in blue. A neighborhood meeting was held on January 19th of this year. Neighboring residents requested that additional vegetation be provided between the existing residential homes and the proposed trail connection. The applicant has stated that they will evaluate incorporating landscaping, screening, and evergreen vegetation along this area to the greatest extent possible at the time of final plat. Staff has reviewed the proposal and as outlined in the staff report has determined that the project is consistent with the master plan the project meets the minimum requirements of the land development ordinance and the anthology north plan development. The project provides adequate access, infrastructure, drainage facility, and design considerations. Utility providers have confirmed capacity and availability. All referral agency comments have been addressed and the public notice requirements have been met. Therefore, staff recommends that Planning Commission recommend Town Council approve the Anthology North preliminary plan for segment 1B and 1C subject to the condition listed in staff's report. Staff is available for any questions and the applicant is here as well for any questions that you may have and they also have a presentation they would like to give for you. Uh, questions for Brianne? Um, I just have, what, what is the, the nature of the comments from Aztec? Uh, so those are very detailed comments that will come in uh, play at final plat. So the length of the line, adjusting things like that. Okay. So very detailed, not necessarily high level for the preliminary plan. All right. Other questions for Brian? Um, on Chambers Road, going from Stroh to Hess Road, uh, who, is, who is responsible for completing that road and when will it be completed? Um, would you mind clarifying the question? You said Chambers Road from... Yeah, Chambers from Stroh Road up to uh, the subdivision and up to Hess, connecting to Hess. Yeah, the developer is responsible for constructing it, and they'll be building all six lanes for the full section. Will that be completed this year, or...? Uh, <laughs> we would love that, but it, it's completely <laughs> up to their schedule. It will be completed prior to the issuance of the first building permit. And when is that estimated to take place? Um, I can't speak to the developer's timelines, but I'm hoping early next year. Okay. Maybe that's right, something we'll ask the developer after their presentation. Yeah. Other questions? Nope. Nope. Okay, does the developer want to come forward and the applicant rather? State your name and address for the record, please. Sounds good. Is this on? Uh, good evening, John Prestwich with PCS Group, 200 Calamath Street, Denver, Colorado, 80223. Uh, first off, always a big thank you to town staff for their help in getting us here this evening. Um, you know, you'll, you'll see on the slides, one thing I wanted to point out is, you know, the, the community is uh, currently called or known as Anthology, but we've renamed the community Tantera. Um, we felt like that name really fit nicely with the way the design has evolved through the preservation of the drainage corridors, the natural vegetation, and we've created sort of these like iconic uh, shade shelters that you'll see throughout all of the parks uh, in Tantera. Next slide, please. So, uh, so I, I recognize some of you, you know, um, we always like to say that we're big believers in collaboration. Um, we truly recognize it, it takes a, a team effort to create a successful application. And I always want to acknowledge the uh, effort that it takes uh, in the creation of a new community for the town of Parker. Um, and this slide highlights many of the team members who have helped us uh, get to this point this evening. 
Uh, and again, we just want to recognize all the input the town staff has had through this process uh, as we've worked uh, also with our neighbors. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, so this evening, as you know, we're here to present the preliminary plan for segment 1, B, and C of the Tantera community. Um, Brianna's done a great job of kind of hitting the details, so I'll, I'll kind of keep it a little bit more high level. Um, one of the things I did want to point out uh, is sort of a reminder that we processed a PD amendment uh, to incorporate dendritic planning principles, um, and this... Uh, uh, preliminary plan is consistent with those principles. Again, the dendritic planning essentially evaluates the natural drainages running through the property, and then it works the planning around those natural drainages. Uh, overall, segment one, the entire segment one, uh, which includes A, B, and C, is now providing about 15 acres more park and open space than what was anticipated in the uh, PD. And then finally, no additional units or increase in density is being proposed with this preliminary plan. Um, you you kind of stole my thunder a little bit here, so uh, one of the things I wanted to highlight this evening is another age, uh, major element we've committed to in working with town staff is that the Tantera project will build the full ultimate section of Chambers Road, not the half section, all the way from Hess Road on the north to Stroh Road on the south with the initial phase of the community. Um, we think this is a really big deal, not just for the Tantera community, but really for the town of Parker at large. If you wouldn't mind hitting, oh, sorry. Um, so bigger picture, I mean, I think you all pretty, know, pretty much know where the property is, but just for reference, Tantera is uh, located on the west of Motzenbacher uh, of the existing Anthology neighborhood, uh, south of Hess Road, north of the extension of Stroh Road, and east of the Ruderhass Reservoir. And I think Brianna's kind of hit this, but again, segment B and C are really to the south, the purple and orange color. Uh, again, this image is primarily for reference. It, it shows the currently approved PD, and then over top, uh, I added a red dash line that shows sort of the boundary of segment one. And then the next slide, um, it shows the uh, overall sketch plan. Uh, so in addition to the preservation of the primary drainages, um, you see the, the, uh, the large park uh, in segment 1A, segment B and C have an additional four neighborhood parks, and the, the parks all, th all have a theme that are established in segment 1 and then carried through to B and C, and I'll kind of point some of that out too. And then again, this slide is, is a good one to point out the extent of Chambers Road that will be built in its entirety with the initial phase of the Tantara community. And then so again, as, as part of working with staff throughout this process, uh, we put together an open space and park tracking exhibit. So this tracks all of the park and open space areas within segment one. And again, we are uh, now uh, with this more detailed design, we have about a, a 15 additional acres, um, uh, about a 10% increase from the uh, PD. And then finally, just real quick, orientation, purple and orange. And then this slide is an illustrative version of the plan for all of segment one. Um, the red dashed line highlights the currently approved 1A, and then the balance shows uh, B and C. And if we just zoom down or scroll down to the next one, I just want to try and make it a little even easier to, to uh, see what's, what we're looking at this evening. I just removed the color from the areas outside of B and C. Um, again, the site design has been planned around these natural drainage corridors, integrated with trail connections and parks, also taking advantage of those natural areas. If we want to go to the next one, and then this just zooms in a little bit closer to just B and C. So in general, the grading for the lots uh, ends at the rear of the lots. That helps protect the natural drainage and, and vegetation. Uh, the trail connections throughout the property, including now, actually I should have mentioned this, a, a new commitment to build an underpass under chambers uh, where that drainage is going on the west side of the property. So you'll have a, a, a connection to the future uh, uh, development of, of Tantara. This was not a requirement of the annexation or PD, but it was something that we uh, have agreed to do as part of creating an even more connected trail system for the larger community. Um, and this illustrative also highlights some of the neighborhood and other park areas that are integrated into the plan. And I dropped a, a quarter mile uh, 
a circle, which is that green dashed line around each one of those parks. It represents a five minute walk, just really to depict how well this uh, community is, is covered with from a park and trail perspective. So then we mentioned this a little bit, but as part of the previous public hearings, we heard from our neighbors in the existing anthology community um, that they had drainage and groundwater concerns in their existing community. Um, and we wanted, and, and they wanted us to ensure them that what we're doing would not have an impact on them. And so we had our ge geotechnical consultant reevaluate all the borings that were done as part of the analysis of this property. And they have verified that our proposal will have no impacts on the groundwater because our proposed improvements are well above the groundwater elevations. Um, and then we created these sections so the homeowners could come. They, we had a, a neighborhood meeting and they came and they, they kind of picked out where their house is and, and uh, uh, these sections illustrated the proposed uh, condition versus where their homes were. So it, was, it, it, it turned out like a, a pretty darn good meeting. I think that these sections really helped facilitate the conversations. So then get, kind of getting to the more fun part of the project, I think. Um, I, I just wanted to take a few moments and highlight the neighborhood parks. Um, again, as part of the PD amendment process, we developed a parks master plan um, to ensure that all the parks in Tantara had a full abundant complement of amenities and to ensure that you know, the parks had unique elements. They weren't just a repeat of, of all the other parks. So this neighborhood park is on the east side of the community, adjacent to the major east-west uh, drainage. It includes a trail connection to the overall community trail network. And then wanted to point out, we're taking advantage of the change in topography by incorporating an embankment slide. So, you know, you start on the high side, slide down to the low side, mm -hmm. as well as utilizing that natural slope as a backstop for a half basketball court. Um, and then I think, you, you know, as we run through all of these parks, I think you'll uh, kind of see we've created some really unique custom play equipment. Um, this particular park features two large acorns uh, that are connected with a rope bridge. Uh, it has a slide feature and then other climbing apparatus in as well. And then this park also incorporates that sort of iconic uh, custom shade structure that's unique to all of the Tantara parks. And again, several of these parks are located adjacent to the natural drainages. Um, so this one also includes a trail connection. Um, and many of these parks are actually linked along the community trail network. Now, I think this park's really fun and includes, you know, something for really everybody. It actually even includes a putting green you can see in the image on the uh, top right. And then again, playing into the theme for all of the parks, it includes uh, an additional custom play equipment. Uh, in this case, it's a, a really cool tree uh, house fort with rope climbing. And then again, another embankment slide, really just taking uh, advantage of that natural terrain. This park is a little flatter. It's actually uh, one of the ones where we've got a larger turf area. Um, it does also include the iconic shade shelters, plenty of picnic tables, built-in cornhole, uh, some playground areas, uh, again, that, that large multi-purpose turf area for the active uses, and it's, it's relatively flat uh, and centrally located, so uh, just provides a, an area for more active uses. And then I think maybe, hopefully, some of you remember that in the large community park, we featured a uh, red tail hawk as an iconic playground structure. And again, to kind of keep that theme going, um, this park has a really fun owl. So, um, you know, the park also has turf areas and, and shade structures and trails and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, the real centerpiece is, is this custom owl play structure. Um, the owl features rock climbing up that left wing. You can see on the bottom left image. And then there's rope climbing adjacent to that. And then you can climb inside the owl and there's actually a slide that you go, you know, down through that you can see along the bottom. Um, again, you've, maybe you've seen this, but as part of the design process, you know, we, we build these computer models to analyze the, the design. This image uh, depicts the concept for our primary entry monument. And the sculptural element is essentially the community logo uh, kind of pulled apart in sort of an artful 3D interpretation. And then, again, trying to, you know, kind of build this theme. But, you know, not, not, th this is not necessarily a part of segment B and C, but again, this image shows the new Chambers Road bridge that will cross Oak Gulch. Um, Oak Gulch on the north part of the property has a grade-separated regional trail. 
Um, we are proposing some stone monoliths adjacent to the bridge. And again, that full section of Chambers Road will be built with the initial phase of this community. And then this is the uh, concept for the secondary entry monuments. Um, that those, those will be found uh, along the entries into the community from Chambers Road and Stroh Road. And you can kind of see the community logo there that you saw with the large monument but pulled apart. Um, and again, they kind of highlight a natural landscape feel with ornamental grass plantings and then using evergreen uh, trees as a backdrop. And then this image, uh, uh, we'll have a couple more, but this image focuses again back to the large 34-acre community park. It's part of segment 1A. I really just included it so that you could see how segments B and C tie together with the entire community. Uh, this image is uh, overlooking the pool area, but you can also see that red tail hawk structure on the right side of the image, as well as the consistent uh, iconic theme uh, shade shelters. And then the next image kind of shows that hawk again in just a little bit more detail. Um, it includes, you know, a slide, multi-level play areas. Um, again, we have another embankment slide in this park. Um, so, I mean, hopefully you can kind of see how the community theme is tying together between the various segments. Uh, and really just to summarize, you know, the proposal for the preliminary plan for BNC, uh, it increases the amount of park and open space by about 15 acres in segment one. Again, a little bit more than a 10% increase from the uh, a PD. Um, and the preliminary plan is uh, consistent with the sketch plan and PD. Uh, and finally, staff has recommended approval based on the approval criteria. And I, I just want to thank you for your time this evening. Uh, and, and we're happy to answer any questions. Questions for John? Yeah. Um, I have a couple of questions. Um, the, uh, the, are there any electrical charging stations for vehicles planned for this development? Uh, we have not uh, thought about that, but we have the parking lot in the community center we could take a look at. Okay. Well, your townhouse products all have their own garages? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and maintenance for the parks, is that on the HOA or the, is that being dedicated to the town? The only park that's being dedicated to the town is the 34-acre park. Big, the first one, right? Correct, the yeah. One? Okay. There will be two other parks in segment three on the west side of Chambers Road. Okay. And the, the specialized equipment that's being installed, is that going to be uh, easily maintained by an HOA? Yeah, I mean, it's... It, it's it, it looks really cool, but it's just the same type of material. It looks awesome. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's, you know. It's, yeah, it's the same kind of materials that they're, that other play equipment is, is made from. Okay. So. That's it. That's all I had. Other question? No. I, I don't have any. No. Go ahead. Good. John, I was just, uh, okay, we're working here. I was just curious uh, what you learned or what concerns might have been discussed during the neighborhood outreach. Oh, sure, yeah. It, the primary ones related to drainage. Um, th there's some... That, there, those properties sit lower, so I think they may have some groundwater issues that, that they're dealing with. Um, we actually sit up higher. That's why we won't have those same issues. Um, and then where the properties come together, our property is higher, so there's a natural hill that drains towards them as well. Um, we're actually going to be improving that condition because we'll put a drainage swale at the bottom of the hill before it hits their properties. Um, and, and they had concerns to a degree about, you know, where, like, right now they're kind of looking out their back door to an to a undeveloped hill. And now they're going to be looking out their back door to homes and a trail connection going through there. There were, there were some folks who didn't, didn't want to have a trail behind their homes, which... I understand, but it's it's a part of the master plan that's been approved for, uh, well, probably 15 years or so. So, um, and those trail connections, while they, you know, there's 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 always a bit of a rub or concern with people, you know, now being behind their properties. But on the flip side, they'll have the advantage of being able to walk all those trails as well. So I think it's a balancing act. But but sorry, that was the, that's what we talked about. Okay, thank you. Other questions. Thank you, John. Thank you. Um, any further questions for Brian? No. No. All right. As this is a, a public hearing, we will open the meeting to public comment. 
If you are on the Zoom feature or in the audience and you wish to make a comment with this particular item before us, uh, please step to the microphone and state your name and address for the record or use the raise your hand feature on Zoom. Bryce? There are no hands raised on Zoom. All right. And I don't see anybody at the podium. So we will close the public comment part. And any further questions? No. No. All right, then we will close the public hearing at 725. Commissioner discussion. My mic on? Uh, yes. Um, I'll start. Uh, I really like this project. I like how well it's being planned. I like the care and the detail that's been put into it. I appreciate the uh, responsiveness and the respectfulness that uh, you've shown the neighbors with going to the extra mile, with doing those cutaways for drainage to help uh, them understand how that pro how your project will impact them. Um, so I'm, I, I support this preliminary plan. Yeah, I was here for the initial presentation. I don't know if it's last year or, or end of the year before, but I said it was gonna be an awesome community and still think so. And, and, uh, and uh, thank you for the thought that's going into this uh, community because it's gonna be, I think, a, a much better communities that we have around uh, from years past. So I uh, recommend we move forward with it. I concur. I'm in agreement. Same here. It's an exciting project. Look forward to it. Again, having seen and listened to y'all since you started bringing this, uh, I uh, concur with uh, Rich and Ruth Ann and the rest of the commissioners that you, you guys are really knocking it out of the park with this one. And mm -hmm. it's, it's a good looking project. It's thoughtful. Uh, it's unique. Uh, it's the kind of thing we want to see in the, in the town. I'm certainly supporting it. All right, then, do we have a motion? Uh, we will in a minute. Uh, I move the Planning Commission recommend Town Council approve the requested anthology North preliminary plan for segment 1B and 1C, subject to the following conditions. Number one, the remaining comments provided by Aztec Consulting Inc. on January 14th, 2022, be addressed with each associated final plat. I second. Been moved by Rich, seconded by Ruth Ann, that Planning Commission recommend Town Council approve the requested Anthology North preliminary plan for segment 1B and 1C, subject to the following conditions. The remaining comments provided by Aztec Consulting on January 14, 2022, be addressed with the each associated final plat. And I will call the question. Uh, Roxy? Aye. Uh, Nick? Aye. Uh, Ruth Ann? Aye. Uh, Rich? Aye. Commissioner, or the chairman is aye, passes 5-0. All right. Yeah, next item. Anything for planning, Commission Bryce? Uh, only one item, sir. Uh, the posting time frame for the 24th has passed, so there are no items on the 24th agenda. So expect an email from Mr. Miller canceling that meeting. Okay. Not to worry, we do have some items expected to come in March. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's, that's all, okay. Uh, then uh, do we have a motion to adjourn? I move we adjourn. I'll second. It's been moved by Ruth Ann, seconded by Roxy, that we adjourn at 7.28. Uh, can we, we'll, I'll call the question. Uh, Roxy? Aye. Nick? Aye. Rich aye. Man. Rich? Aye. Chair's aye. Five zero. I guess we get to adjourn. Cool.